don't think we can get away from the constitution issue because it seems that a lot of new comments are being made. Yes, but uh, it's getting round and round and round. <laughs> uh, You're not getting anywhere? No, um, especially from Prime Minister Ying Lak Chin uh -huh. who uh -huh. today, I, I want you to erase what we discussed yesterday. Totally. Totally. Uh -huh. Because uh, yesterday we said that how the government may want to delay, mm -hmm. want to put everything on the back burner. But today, Prime Minister said that it remains an urgent agenda. Urgent item on the amendment. agenda. Right. Because Kun Chalom, the Deputy Prime Minister, was saying that we should wait eight months. Right. But today, uh, she answered, she, it's the only thing that she was clear cut about, uh -huh. that Constitution Amendment is still an urgent agenda of the government. Oh, but, but she was saying something else. She was saying that the government would not get involved in the constitutional amendments. It, it belongs to parliament. That, uh, that she said that, that that should be the case. Okay. Uh, the government uh, idealistically, mm -hmm. uh, idealistically should not be involved in the constitutional amendment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she answered anything else, any other questions uh, today with one uh, comment. One. Uh, not conclusive yet. On every question? On every question. Such um, as? Uh, such as uh, someone, uh, a reporter asked uh, whether uh, the Article 291 uh, needed to be amended mm -hmm. so that uh, uh, drafting assembly can be established. She said that is not conclusive yet. <laughs> okay. And someone asked her about the uh, proposal by Kun Ukrit Bongkun Davin Pano, who said that um, an, a, uh -huh. a drafting panel, an appointed expert, uh, 34 I, members of uh, uh, special specialists. Yes. Uh, he, uh, she, she the, the other day, the Prime Minister said she accepted in principle. No, uh, uh, today she says not conclusive yet. <laughs> I see. Okay. And another reporter asked whether this should be combined mm -hmm. with the election formula. Yeah. With that a part of the yes. drafting assembly should be uh, elected uh, and then yes. another part should be appointed. Right. Not conclusive yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and 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 some uh, any uh, another reporter asked her whether the the government seemed to be uh, uncertain about everything. So should this be delayed mm -hmm. so ah. that you can have more time to think about? Mm -hmm. And she said, "Not conclusive." <laughs> <laughs> no, no kidding. He, he, I think I think said. she was um, you know clever in saying nothing is conclusive, so that she doesn't have to go back on her words in the next few days. Right. But uh, actually, t today we have some uh, interesting development mm -hmm. from the opposition camp. Mm -hmm. Kun Apisit Vechachiwa, the Democrat leader, he, mm -hmm. uh, has, he came out and has his own proposal. He's backing the idea of setting up an elected uh, assembly yes. to draft a new charter. Mm -hmm. But he said that instead of having one representative for each Province. Yes, 77. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, it should be two representatives for each province. So 140 uh, something. Almost uh, mm -hmm. 150. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, what's the rationale behind that? Uh, he said that uh, if we have this uh, one representative for each province, uh, this could create an impression of a divided panel. Yeah. A, a pro red or a pro pre-Thai party mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. a pro Democrat party. Well, how would two representatives from each province change that? That it could dilute the color mm -hmm. in the assembly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, to look at it closely, maybe this proposal may uh, benefit the Democrats. Some hidden the agenda on the right, Democrat because, side. Uh, if we look at the uh, the latest election results, we can see that. In the north and the northeast, despite mm -hmm. the sweeping victory of the Pure Thai Party, we can see the Democrat Party uh, coming at the second, ah, at the first runner. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the north and the northeast, but uh, at the same time, uh, the possibility of the Pure Thai Party uh, winning some seats in the south is far less uh, possible. Ah, that means the Democrats think they can sweep the South with two MPs from each province. Right. While in the North and Northeast, they may lose the f number one, but they could get the number two seats. Exactly. That's what. The, that's what. So overall, Democrats could outnumber. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. Okay. But this is what the reporters' own interpretation. This is our own. I don't think obviously we'll ever admit to that. Strategy. No, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> but it's interesting. Interesting, yes. So maybe you know this constitutional amendment issue will continue to drag on for a while. Mm -hmm. 
because as the Prime Minister says, nothing is conclusive for now, so do not ask too many questions.